Guys, people are making money creating mock-up businesses, selling on Etsy and even their own website. Today, I will show you how you can start your own mock-up business using Midjourney and Canva to create lovely mock-ups that you're seeing right here on the screen. So let's get started. Okay, guys, so when you're in Midjourney, right, what you will do is simply sign in if you already have an account, but if you don't, you just click on join the beta and then you accept invites and voila, you're in. <laughs> I will show you how to create mockups using my own um, server. So as you can see, I was basically practicing here. So basically, we want to create a simple mockup for a baby nursery. Basically, all you have to do when you see message, you click on forward slash. And in my case, I will click on settings and enter. And I just want to ensure that I'm using Midjourney um, version 5. Okay. And then you do backslash again and then you click on imagine and that is where you're going to let your imagination flow okay so now we have we are using the joint five let us uh, click on backslash again and select imagine and now i will enter my prompt that i already have created so basically i am asking you to create a nursery room for a baby with yellow and green furniture and crib linen with three photos located over the crib. Okay, so let us see what it brings for us. Okay, so now we basically have to wait. Okay, so basically this is what we have here. I think I like number four. So I will select, I said three photos, but it gave me six photos, okay? So let us um, do another one. Let's say create a nursery room for a baby with the, let's remove the color, right? With three photos in the room. Let's say three large photo photos in the room. Okay, so of course we have to forward slash and click on imagine and enter our prompt again, asking it to create a nursery room for a baby with three large photos in the room. Let us see what we can get with this one. Okay, guys, so which one do you prefer? I really like this. Yeah, I really like number four. I think number four is pretty good. And this one is also, I think this, these are pretty good. So let us select number one and let us select number. So that's number one and you'll select number three and number four. So these are beautiful. So since we have selected our, um, well, our favorites, let us forward slash and click on imagine again and enter some more prompts. Okay. So what I would like here, I think this one is probably a little more difficult, but I am not a pro at this prompt thing. So let us see what we have here. Create a picture of a table with a teacup on the table with a tablet beside it and a small plant. Top view angle, type angle. And let us see what Midjourney gives us for this, okay? I would also like to mention that Midjourney has a ton of information that can actually help you with um, using Midjourney properly. And uh, I think it is a lot of information. Um, I don't think anybody has mastered everything here. So, you know, you have the opportunity to go through all this information that Midjourney um, offers and, you know, just to create your own um, mockups or create your own images. Okay, guys. So basically, this is what we have. Um, I think these are very beautiful. And uh, the ones I would choose here, definitely, I really like this one. I really like this one. So I will upscale. Um, number four definitely and i like see how beautiful this looking this is looking so beautiful and i like the picture of this one here as well um i think all of them are beautiful <laughs> but if we have to choose let us i really like version two for some reason it's just really nice yeah version two is very beautiful so basically the u1 u2 is the one that you want want to upscale right and the v v1 v2 v3 the v the v's basically the v's basically will add mid journey to create a version of 
the picture okay but in our case we really like this and uh, i'll work with this and you can um put these into canva and create your own mockups and we will do that shortly okay guys so let us now create another mockup right so we will forward slash click on imagine and enter our prompt create a picture of a woman holding up a mug in front of her but her fingers are not covering the front of the mug okay let us see what we get with that one okay while this is working i want to make some sort of amendment to my prompt okay so create a picture of a woman a woman holding up a mug on a white background okay so what we have so far is not bad um i think i like this one and i like so i like these you can actually put a mock up here and here and also what we forgot is the color of the mug but let us see what else we got okay okay so basically i think we can use this one even though it's covering her entire face um this one no it's not it's too small but i like this one but i will not use it because the mug is not white um we can use this one here and i think we'll just use that one which is number one okay guys so i will continue creating different mockups you know just testing my, my journey and seeing you know just seeing what it can offer so i will do these last set pretty quickly okay so you forward slash you click on imagine and i will paste in my prompts and see what i get okay so now i have mid journey um creating three sets of different images for me so let us see what these look like now okay so um we have all the images now and i really like what i'm seeing um the only thing is i need to probably refine this prompt so i can make it better but i like i really like this one and this these two well three but this these are a bit dark so i really like these okay and this is the bedroom even though i said no text or image <laughs> you know it's still put in the image but we'll see okay but we can as i said use this still okay so we can use all of these and these are very lovely um i think this one nailed it pretty much this one is perfect so now what i will do is basically right click on all the images that i have selected and save it so you right click and you save as okay guys so now we will move to the next level okay so here we have the image enlarger so since we have saved these images we will now enlarge these images and i am using bigjpeg.com so you enter so you select your photo and then you select start for this case i will just upscale it four times the size of the original image and select ok and it is basically um you know uploading and enlarging the photo so you will have to do this with, for all your photos okay so now we will go into canva and uh, we will upload our photos okay so we will go sorry click on create a design and a custom custom design a custom size what i'm saying then you cr you click on create a design and then custom size and uh, we'll just use 1000 by 1000 so then from here you will upload all the files you would like to use so as you can see i've uploaded all the images right so from here you can enlarge your image okay guys so be honest i didn't go through the image enlarger for all of these images okay guys so after the image enlarger um has completed you will just you will now download your file okay and from here you will basically repeat the process okay you guys now that we have uploaded um enlarging all our photos we will now come into canva and create and click on create a design 
custom design and I will just use a thousand by a thousand. And from here, we will go to upload and upload all the photos that we have enlarged. So we'll just move it over. Right. So you see these temp these photos are pretty good quality all right and of course you can expand and move it around you know basically as much as possible i know we have this plant here so probably this one may not be the best one i should have enlarged the other one but anyway what you can easily do is just put a frame over this so what we can do is so let us just enlarge this and let us rotate so we have rotated this okay um let us go to the other page we can use this photo this is very beautiful right we can work with something like this and a new page <clears throat> and we'll i will basically just continue you know all the way through doing the same thing okay so now that is done we'll go over to frames so okay we'll go over to frames and click on see all and uh, basically you know get the frames that will match these pictures these images okay okay so basically you have three photos um sl one slightly larger than the other okay then you have this you can easily place your photo here the only thing is this area is dark i don't really like this image so i'll delete this and you can easily do the same for the rest so i will just continue okay guys so we can do insert a frame for this one here as well you go back into frames and you just select a picture frame you can select one with the white frame or you can select one without the white frame okay so this will work perfectly and uh, sorry this one is kind of wavy one okay so this will work perfectly um you can insert your artwork here and basically you can do the same for each and every one of these okay so i will not go into the whole you know process but that is what you can basically do um let's undo this and uh, i will show you how you can download this so basically you can download all of this and it will download into in a, a zip file right so you just select png file and you know just a simple png file and uh, now we have the zip file here i will open it and this is what you will find inside so basically when you click on one of these you will see the quality of the picture and let us zoom in see how detailed this picture is so you can make this as you can zoom in as much as possible see and here's the other one right so this this basically will let your your customer know that they can easily if you sell these as canva templates they can simply slide their images in here so guys if this information was useful please subscribe to my channel if you want to know how to create prompts when using mid journey then look at this video here